guys, I'm back today and I'm going to be doing a video on one of my very, very favorite fashion genres, I guess. I don't even know. Like this is something that I feel like I coined and I, I don't, I hate when I say that. Like, I'm, I feel like whatever, like you're taking credit for the stupidest thing. Um, but I just don't think that like anyone has like been obsessed with this kind of thing or is it even a thing? I don't know. It's a thing for me because it is like, I love this. Okay. I, this is like how I try, this is like where I get my like sense of like fashion and a lot of my inspiration and stuff even like whatever. Okay. This is like, I don't know. I really love it. And I don't know if it's a thing, but it's a thing for me. And it's called, or I call it the um, daughter of a Chinese billionaire billionaire or a uh, Chinese billionaire's daughter look or vibe or mood. And it is a total mood. Like I do not dress like this or I do not whatever every day, but it is something that I really love. And it's just like a vibe. Okay. So I, am I totally losing you already? I might be. So I don't know. I don't even know where to begin. You guys know I'm like all over the place all the time, but a Chinese billionaire's daughter is, um, her, I'm not gonna, I don't know about her because I actually don't know anyone personally like very well to like, know what they're like or whatever, but I'm just talking about me having seen them from like afar. Like when I see them shopping or, you know, when I like lived in Shanghai, um, you know, it's like I always try to like study them and just like, just kind of absorb everything I can from watching them because I'm just very, I don't even know if they're billionaires. I seriously don't, but I feel like there are, like I just call them that. There are like very wealthy, 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 fuck girls, um, young, like younger, younger women, um, who come from like, you know, buku fucking bucks, like Chinese money. Okay. And, um, I don't know. I'm just very like, it's just, they have a very unique lifestyle, like privilege, um, way of life, just sense of style, sense of self. And it's just like, for me, it's very, like, it's like, I'm in awe about it. I mean, I really, really like, like, I don't know. I can't explain it. Okay. I just very look, like look up to that, to them. All right. So now that we got that out. So do you guys like understand like what I mean by this? I don't know. Whenever I tag myself or I like write like Chinese billionaire's daughter look or whatever, it really like, I feel, I really do feel like I'm capturing like something that they would wear. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to go, I'm going to show you guys like two looks that I feel like are very Chinese billionaire. I'm also so going to show you or talk to you about like key points to being like having a Chinese billionaire's daughter's vibe or mood look. Okay. Um, it's, there's a lot of like certain things that they, I feel like they would do. And, um, by the way, this is my video. So anyone out there who's like, I'm um, no Alex, they would never fucking wear that. This is my video. Okay, bitch. So this is my video and this is, this is how I feel that they, they are coming up, like they are coming off to me like this. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go, I have a list here because I really take this fucking seriously. I get a lot of DMS from you. The another reason why I wanted to do this because I get a lot of DMS from you guys being like, Oh my God, Alex, look at this like Chinese girl. She's so Chinese billionaire, but actually no, she's not. Okay. Like she does not have the vibe. So I feel like I need to tell you guys. So you get it. Okay. I mean like Dorothy Wang, for example, Dorothy Wang is a Chinese billionaire, but she's not Chinese billionaire vibe at all. She is way too like whitewashed American. Like she is way too LA. Like, no, that is not it. She's just like an Asian girl. You know what I mean? She's not the vibe that I'm talking about. So let's get that straight. Um, actually the people who I think are Chinese billionaires, I don't even know who they are. Like, I don't even, I have some photos to show you just for some like inspiration photos, but I don't follow like anyone like in particular. Cause Chinese billionaire daughters, they don't have to do fucking shit. Okay. All they have to do is whatever the hell they want, whether it's travel, they go to like college and they just don't do anything else the rest of their life, but like have the most amazing fucking life ever. They eat, they travel, they hang out with friends, they shop and they have very close like knit groups and they don't talk to anyone else. This is what, by the way, this is how I think it is. It, maybe it's not, but don't burst my bubble. Okay. Here we go. Um, were you guys totally lost? I don't know. Cause I actually am lost right now. All right. So they, all right. Um, I'm just going to go off the list. All right. They only wear, they only wear colored bags. Okay. I, okay. Let me tell you guys, they only wear colored bags, bright colored bags. Okay. And my theory behind the, why the reason why they only wear bright color and like very odd, like flashy color designer bags is because 
They have everything already. They already have 400 fucking Chanel bags and all the Kellys and all the Birkins. So they're gonna have, they already have black. You never see them wearing like black bags because they, they, that's just like a classic. Like they already have it when they're done that. They um, are gonna get like the weirdest color bags and they're gonna also pair it with like all designer, but it doesn't look tacky. Does you get, you get it? I mean, they already have like every bag, so now they're gonna go get like the colored bags too. Okay, so let me show you two of my bags that I think are the most Chinese billionaire daughter bags in my collection. The first one is my Dior, Miss Dior, Miss Dior. I don't know. I think this is so fucking Chinese billionaire daughter. They have this bag in like the patents in all the different colors, and they wear it crossbody, um, and. I don't know if this is one for sure, okay. I have my large, this is my large Privé chain on it, just so you guys know. I don't have the other strap that comes on it because it looks like shit. This is so much fucking better. Dior should have actually uh, put this chain on with a bag because it looks so amazing. I'll link it below too, just so you guys know. Silver, all silver, okay? So heavy, okay. Next is this one, and yes, I have my Privé chains on everything now because, like, I, the more I get to know my Privé chains, like, the more I see, like, how versatile and how much I can use them on everything. Um, okay, so this is a Chanel medium flap, and it's patent, and it's in a very weird color. I don't know why. Whenever I use this bag, it automatically speaks Chinese billionaire's daughter to me. It's just a very funky color, and, uh, it's, and it's patent, too. It's, like, it's everything. It's, like, there's so much going on. Um, and then I have my mini top handle. This is the mini chain. Um, as you can see, so this was the mini and this was the regular. So you can see the difference in the gauge, but they're both equally as amazing and beautiful quality. So it's not like, um, it's not like, you know, one's like less or whatever, like quality wise. Okay. And then I have the medium on here too. So I can wear it as a shoulder bag. And then, of course, I, obviously, this is on here still for crossbody. So it all just looks so good together. Um, so this. These are like the two that I feel like are my most Chinese really my daughter. I would honestly, you guys, like, I know like for your first like bags or for a lot of people like don't go for colored bags because like not everyone has an extensive like billionaire closet. Um, but like the girls, like the Chinese billionaires, billionaire girls, they they don't care. Like they will wear a fucking red bag or orange bag with this sweater and they'll be able to pull it off just because of the way they like, they carry themselves, their vibe, it just works. So don't go and buy a black bag if you don't like it. Like you get like a colored bag if you want, okay? All right, um, and I'm gonna say that a lot of people are like, oh yeah, there was a comment the other day that kind of like struck, struck me and it was like, Alex, whatever, like no, people or Chinese billionaires don't wear non-designer and it's not true actually it's not true because i was living in shanghai actually chinese billionaire daughters were in like uniqlo they were in zara they were they like like western brands and i i think it's because it's like a relatively new thing to china like western brands having been there in the last like 10 years so they're very like um excited about that so they do a lot of design very very high designer with mixing like h&m too like h&m zara uniqlo they, they mix it all so wrong to you um i also want to say they are very straight faced people and they don't they're not very friendly they might be friendly to themselves but i don't know if they're just um shy or nervous but i've never been able to like interact at all not like i try to interact with them but if they they just don't even like they don't even look at you. They're just so in their own world because they have like the best life ever with their, their two little friends. Um, and they might come off like, they, they seem very snobby, honestly, very, very snobby, but I just think it's because like, it's just a total cultural like difference. You know what I mean? Like they don't want anything to do with, with fucking you, yeah, okay, Alex. Um, <laughs> oh, another thing is they don't wear a lot of makeup. Um, they, uh, they don't wear a lot of makeup and maybe like some lip gloss and they have like, their eyes look like very nice, you know what I mean? They don't have like a lot of makeup, but I think they might have done like, you know, like the eyelid surgery and stuff because they have like very big, like doll eyes a lot of the time. Either they have that or they completely don't do anything and wear like no makeup and have like bad skin and just nothing, like nothing like they haven't done anything to their face. They have like the most amazing outfit on. I don't know. Those are like the two kinds of like Chinese billionaire daughters that I've seen. 
or noticed. Um, indispo indisposable money, okay? Like literally, like they have so much fucking money. It doesn't even matter, okay? Like it doesn't matter. Like they're not. That's, it doesn't matter. Like money is nothing. It's like might as well like wipe your ass with fucking like money because that's how much they have. Um. Okay. I think that's like pretty much like what I cover, like what I know about them, like what I think when I see them. Um, and what else I'm gonna say before I show you my outfits is just like they will wear all different kinds of shit, and I can't get away with what they wear. Like if I see a little a girl, probably because they're like they're very petite and they're like very they're cute. You know what I mean? They're like a, like they're like a cute, they're a cute person, and they can pull it off. But like a white girl who's like 33 years old. Like, no, like you have to like, you have to like take bits and pieces from them, but you cannot like do that. Okay. Not to mention, I don't really wear like des designer clothes. So I'm just like kind of mocking it, but I'm telling you guys, these looks are like really spot on. Okay. This jumper, I think it's called a jumper or sweater is from H and M. The skirt is going to be from, uh, Aritzia. Um, these are my pendants and actually these are all also available in silver. I know you guys are like waiting for the silver, so they're going to be ready to ship in uh, a few weeks. So they're online to order now. You can order the heart and the star in silver and they're available. This is the 18 length chain and this is the 21 length chain. Just so you guys know, I love them. You guys know I wear them like all the fucking time. This is like my favorite necklaces right now. Um, and then I'm wearing, of course, my pills. I fucking love my pills so much. So cute. <laughs> my favorite things in the world. Like literally, I'm just so happy I can like finally wear them. I've been, after the launch, um, I was excited to wear them. And then my Chevalier and my um, chain ring. I'm wearing all gold today. I love it. Okay, so cool. Um, and then my shoes are my dollar, um, my two dollar, one dollar Chanel shoes. I don't know. So I'm going to back up and show you guys. I hope I didn't miss anything. Do you get it? Do you, do you fucking get this? Oh, let me show you some photos. Duh. My phone has an 8%. Let me show you some photos of the girls. Is my makeup disgusting? I'm gonna put the links to makeup to below to you because you guys are asking about makeup. Okay, let me show you. Oh yeah, I saved them in my Instagram. So I want to show you. Okay, so this girl. This problem is with this is I that this girl's Korean, so it, it doesn't really count. But she has the vibe. All right, and I know you guys don't know who she is, but this. See how she's wearing Balenciaga sock boot sock sneakers. Okay, a Louis bag, a floral dress, a denim jacket short cute hair like that little red lips and that um sweater over just totally big and oversized but she's probably like six pounds okay that's one i really really like okay like look at her this is look at her this girl's korean though so it doesn't actually count but you know whatever that's like the vibe okay i think this girl might actually be and no, i think she's korean too i you know i just i don't like i said like i fucking said Chinese billionaire daughters don't give a fuck. They don't fucking do this. Or if they do it, they're private, okay? They're not, they don't not, they're not into this, okay? They're not into like fucking Instagram and showing off. They're just into themselves. Okay, let me show you guys the, her shoes. These are like Chanel um, sandals and she has socks with them. So this is like a vibe, as you can see. And um, this girl is in like the back of Chanel, like sitting in the back of Chanel, being treated like extra special as, um, as always. Look at this. Look at her legs, how skinny she is. See, this is the thing. Look how cute. She's wearing a red bag, um, pink slippers, what are those, sock, sock sneakers, a Chanel tweed jacket, and a Chanel tweed outfit, and probably Chanel um, sparkly stockings too. Okay, like it's just, it's just, I mean, I couldn't pull that off. First of all, her legs are like twigs. You need twig legs to wear this kind of outfit. Um, it's just so, like, it's just so fucking on and cute. Not fair. Okay, and then I'm going to show you this beast, which is me, and how I try to be Chinese billionaire. <laughs> this is my most recent attempt at Chinese billionaire. Okay, okay, and it looks, see what I mean? It looks nothing like it, okay? But I'm trying. Those are my um, new pink, uh, mo <laughs> you guys know, I'm not going to fucking say that, that uh, designer, I can't say it. Um, those are Zara pants. It's an Aritzia top. Okay, that is a Dior bag, but you know what I mean? Like, see how I like a mix, like I'm wearing like sh hot, I'm wearing pink metallic shoes with like red striped pants, like, and the billionaire daughter um, Dior bag. Okay, like it just kind of goes with it right now. Back up and show you, okay? So here, we're back. 
So I'm actually not even going to move the camera for you guys. Like this is it. Okay, we are just like sitting in my living room right now, hanging the fuck out. All right, so look at this outfit. It's so Chinese billionaire daughter. How many, by the way, take a shot for how many times I say that in this video, because I'm like sick of saying it. Um, okay, this skirt, what pick from the side, if you didn't see my face, wouldn't you think I was just like an overweight Chinese billionaire daughter? I mean, seriously, it's like on fucking point. And then let me show you how I kind of tuck this in the front. Right? Doesn't it kind of work? Doesn't it kind of work, you guys? Like, this is something they would totally wear. What, what am I missing? Besides being five pounds and white, like, what am I missing? I think nothing. I think I did pretty well, actually. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one more outfit. <laughs> Do you like this? I don't fucking know. All right, so... Like it is actually maybe maybe they would no they do wear the they do wear their bags on the side but I think it actually it's more Chinese billionaire to do this. Don't you agree? I just feel like it's like way more Chinese billionaire's daughter. Like this. Okay, I'm back. Um, I was thinking about another thing when I was getting dressed is that um, even though they do speak English sometimes, um, depending on if they're like studying, you know, like in Canada or in LA, that's typically like where, or New York, um, they act like they don't. And that's because they don't give a shit and they're not going to like stop what they're doing and switch languages and talk to you okay like for real they act like or they just pretend they just like they are literally in their own little world and it's just because they are so sheltered and not sheltered like what's the word just they have like no problems and they have like no fears and um they just, I don't know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. But, um, I mean, their life is literal fucking goals. Like, their life is literal goals. Okay. This is not like, I, I hope that like this, this is not like making fun at all. You guys know that, right? Like, I think if you know me, then you know that I am nothing but like obsessed with anything Asian, any Asian kind of girl. Okay. I'm gonna get, okay, let me show you. I'm wearing my Gucci tights and a lot of you guys asked about these um they are not very good quality i've already snagged them like one time i really i love them though okay but like if you're thinking about like the snagging aspect of them they snag pretty easy i'm still wearing my <laughs> um chanel boots um, i was gonna put on my stella mccartney shoes because they might wear the silver stella mccartney shoes or the black ones with the stars you know the silver and the stars but i didn't want to chain shoes because I get even taller and you can see less of the outfit. This is just an H&M men's shirt, this um, camo shirt. I'm wearing my rose gold and let me show you. I love my Mignon rose gold chain because it's like a pinky salmon color. It's so gorgeous and I love mixing it. It's like, I just love it. So I love mixing it with regular gold because it just warms everything up. This is a Sandro um, <sighs> coat. You guys have seen, I got it a couple years ago. I love it and I'm just gonna wear the same, my, the Chinese billionaire Chanel, okay? Um, so I'm gonna set up and show you and I hope you guys like this video. I, I just you know the problem is like every time I finish a video I always think, oh my god, I fucking forgot to say that. I hope I hope I I hope I don't forget. Can we see the details? Can we see what's going on? Do you notice how like there are a, there's a lot going on? Like there's a fuck ton going on, but for some reason it works, right? Um, I don't know what it is. Like, that's why whenever like I post something on Instagram and I feel like it's like Chinese billionaire daughter vibe, like I have to say it because it just or else then it just looks like a complete mess. So I have to like title it that. You know what I mean? <laughs> if only I had like an Asian face, I would just look like I would just look perfect. Okay. 
So I'm glad I did this video. I think I kind of cleared up like what I mean by Chinese billionaire daughter because I just feel like I've been getting DM. I get DMs from you guys every once in a while and sometimes it's just like no. Like that's not it. So I feel like I had to clarify myself so that you guys could do this too. So you could like get it. Because I think it's like such a fun vibe. Like if it's just like mixing everything together that you love because you don't give a fuck because you have so much money and because you have like literally zero problems in your life. So much so that just like your vibe and your aura just kind of takes care of the fact that you don't match but you look amazing. I don't even know what it is, but it works. Um, so that's that. Oh, I hope you guys like this video, okay? I hope you liked it. Um, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.